Now, with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate, here's meteorologist Eric Zarnitz. Well, we saw a rainy morning. Now we're starting to get a bit of a break, and you can actually see a little bit of sunshine taking place out across portions of Indiana. Sun on a day like today, not necessarily good news. The warmer things get, the stronger our thunderstorms will be this afternoon and this evening. So, something we have to keep a close eye on. As far as the radar is concerned, right now, you can see overcast skies. Also, tracking some rain down around Georgetown, Falmouth, and Foster. It's all moving off to the north and east. This is very light stuff. So, a few sprinkles for you in White Oak, also around West Union. Union, Meigs, and Maysville over the next half hour or so. Now, again, off to the west, this is what we're watching. This is our cold front right up here through Peoria. Gradually, it's going to move across Illinois, Indiana, and it should arrive here by the time we get to about 6, 7, 8 o'clock this evening. Now, the warmer things are, again, the stronger those thunderstorms will be, and there is the possibility that we could warm things up to around 84, 85 degrees, and that would be just right for seeing that severe weather. Right now, cloudy skies, overcast, not the prettiest day, but again, those clouds, they're good news for us. 74 degrees currently, our winds out of the south at 7 miles an hour, and that humidity still sky high at 87%. Now, temperatures are getting a little warmer out there. You can see 75 degrees in Brooksville, 74 in Warsaw, 75 degrees in Bay Batesville and 74 in Harrison. So most locations at this hour starting to climb into the mid 70s. Again, I think we'll continue that climb into the low to mid 80s later on this afternoon. So here's that cold front. Of course, on the other side of that boundary, that's that cool, crisp air we've been talking about for about a week now. That all builds in tonight and tomorrow. A beautiful day with temperatures in the 70s and low humidity. But before we get there, again, that chance for some stronger storms. So our best chance for seeing that sun anytime past about three or four. Four o'clock. That's when that sun's going to pop out. Scattered stronger storms, six, seven, eight, nine, and then eventually those storms will start to fade as we head through the overnight. Again, there is a higher threat for severe weather, large hail, damaging winds possible for us. But if this cloud cover hangs in a little bit longer, I think that threat's going to be diminished by just a hair. So future cast showing those showers and storms building in this evening. Some of those could be on the stronger side after sunset. Thinking eight, nine, ten o'clock, those showers will really start to weaken because that sun, that heat, that's what they need to keep them strong. Your Forecast today, 84 degrees. Again, another round of showers and thunderstorms this evening, down to 62 with a few lingering rain showers. And take a look at this seven day forecast. Really spectacular, especially since we're in the middle of July here. Temperatures in the 70s, eventually climbing into the upper 70s by the end of the week. And then it's going to feel back to summer by Saturday and Sunday.